Hi, I'm Marek Molarczyk and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, two different ways of creating quick slideshows in Premiere, in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now with the slideshows, it could be videos, it could be images, obviously. I've got some images which I have imported already in here. So I've got some of these uh, images in here, okay. Uh, First of all, you do need to make a sequence, but just before you make a sequence, in the project panel, you can rearrange the content however you want to. So if I make this project panel bigger, so take it into full screen mode, and I can maybe just rearrange some of these images if I want them to be in different order. So maybe this could be the first one, because I'll be one of the methods I'll be using here will involve dragging and dropping. So you can just arrange them however you want to. So I can put it here, and maybe this could be say this one here, just rearranging them, okay? We do need to make a new sequence, so what I would typically do is, if you're using images especially, decide what your sequence are supposed to be. So for example, especially what's the resolution going to be, and the frame rate as well. So I'm going to make a new sequence, okay? And I'll make it a standard 720p, standard HD, say 24 frames per second, that's fine. I'll give it a name as well in here, so this could be, say, slideshow number one, and I'll click OK. And now here in our project panel, we're going to select all our clips, whether they're images or videos. So I'm selecting the first one, and I'm going to hold the shift key, click on the last one. And then we'll just drag and drop them onto the timeline. And they're all going to fall in here on the timeline. If I zoom in, we can see them all here. And as we play it, they're going to show one by one on our sequence. Now, when you're adding images to your sequence, one thing you need to bear in mind is normally they're going to be five seconds long each. That's only applies to images, not to video clips, because if you use video clips, they have their own duration. However, you can change it. You can go to Edit Menu on Windows, Premiere Pro Menu on a Mac, and in the Preferences, I think it's Playback, and you can customize the duration for the images in your sequences. Now, this, this will only apply from now on. So this will only apply to our next uh, setting, or oh, it's on the timeline here. So if I were to change it, so my still image duration, I've changed already to three seconds, but it's normally five seconds by default. So if I'm changing now, nothing's going to happen. This is only going to apply next time you create a slideshow. But that's how you can change it in here, in the timeline category in your preferences. I'll click OK in here. Now here's another way you can customize your, uh, your you can create your slideshow. So I'm going to make another slideshow. So I'll make a new sequence again, and the same preset. And this is going to be slideshow to, let's say to automate, because we're going to use a feature called automate to sequence. Now, once again, I'm selecting all the clips that I want to use in the slideshow, and you can rearrange them like before. So select all these clips in here. But this time, we're not dragging and dropping them onto the timeline. We'll drop them onto this icon here at the bottom, the automate to sequence, which will also give you a dialog box. So I'm going to click and drag and drop in here. And you've got this automated sequence. One of the main things in here is that uh, you can position them in certain order of your timeline, sort order or selection order. In my case, it doesn't make any difference right now because I've selected the first clip and then I shift click the last clip. So my selection is the same as the sort order. However, if you were to say use control or command key and click on individual clips in random order, the selection order will be different from sort order. So you can decide how you want to place them. Okay. You can also choose the overlap. So how many frames they're going to overlap? It's going to be one second by default, so 24 frames in this case. And because we're using images in this case, we can actually change the duration for the images. So if you want the images to last longer, you can actually change the frames per still for this still clip duration. This is again only for images. This will not apply if you were to use the videos for your slideshow. And another interesting feature with this technique, with automated sequence, is that uh, Premiere will also apply some transitions for you automatically. So I have some default video 
or no, audio doesn't apply in this case, but we'll have some default video transitions. So if I click OK, we've got all these clips again. Let me just zoom in. There we go. And if I just play it with the space bar, there will be a cross dissolve transition because that's the default in Premiere Pro. When it comes to transitions, if you want to use a different transition, you could. However, you need to change what your default transition is. Because Premiere with automated sequence will only use your default transitions. But this can be changed, obviously. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you want to add some music to your sequence, to your slideshow, you can. So I can go to the project panel. I can double click in the empty area. I can navigate to, say, I've got a folder here with some music, video and audio files and audio. I've got different clips in here. So say maybe this one, for example. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it on the timeline in here and just play it. And there'll be some music here. So that's the two different ways you can quickly create slideshows in Adobe Premiere Pro. And then all you do at the end is just export them or export it. <laughs> using export file export media and you can make it into an mp4 file mov file animated gif a sequence of images quick and easy way to create uh, slideshows in here uh, what i'm going to show you in the next video is how to publish it straight to web straight to youtube or social media using uh, premiere but this is it for this video here i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching this was creating slideshows in Adobe Premiere Pro. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTrain.co.uk. And for more information about my Premiere Pro courses, have a look on my website at SciTrain.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you soon. Thank you for now. Bye-bye now.